Tommy Lee is best known for being a member of the 80s rock band Motley Crue, as well as his highly publicized love life back in the day. As you might have guessed, his homes over the years were fit for a rock star like himself. While he's trying to offload his 10,000 square foot former mansion in Calabasas, his current home in Brentwood is less than half the size, but it's even more stylish, some would say. In this video, we'll take a look so you can be the judge. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Once upon a time, the whirlwind love story of Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson was an absolute obsession with the media during the late 90s. In fact, that steamy tape they released all those years ago has got so much traction over the years that even now, more than 20 years after its release, we're getting a biographical miniseries from Hulu that's going to go over the whole saga of Pam and Tommy. Of course, these days, the two aren't together anymore. They stuck it out for three years and had two kids before calling it quits. In the subsequent years, Pam would marry a further five times, while Tommy would only marry once more to a woman 24 years his junior, internet personality Brittany Furlan. Yo, Tommy, your girl's gorgeous, man. Look at her. Yeah, she is. These two first got handsy with one another during a night out for sushi in June of 2017. Six months later, they'd announced their engagement on Valentine's Day in 2018. A year after that, and the two would officially tie the knot on Valentine's Day in 2019. Shortly after remarrying, Tommy would quickly list his spectacular Calabasas home, a residence that he's owned since 2007. Then, he and Brittany began looking for the perfect house to turn into a home together. It took them a couple of years to find it, but they finally have, shelling out $4.15 million for a lavish, Japanese-inspired Zen paradise in Brentwood, California that you guys just have got to get your eyes on. Trust me, this house is mesmerizing. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one on the homes of Tommy Lee and Brittany Furlong. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before I show you what the couple's new place looks like, first I want to give you a taste of Tommy's former home, a six bedroom Calabasas mansion that he's been continually trying to move off the market for close to five years now. The creation of this house dates back to 1987, the same year that Tommy Lee and Motley Crue released one of their biggest selling albums, Girls, Girls, Girls. 20 years later and Tommy would move into the place himself when he was still relatively fresh from his divorce from Pamela Anderson. He must have been looking for a place that would keep him distracted because at nearly 10,000 square feet of space, this hillside spread on a cul-de-sac in the guard-gated community known as Vista Point features everything that he could need. This includes a fully equipped recording studio, a screening room, concession bar, and even a wine tasting room. Now in terms of the living spaces, the unique floor plan flows around a central tri-level atrium and features towering plants wrapped in fairy lights, not to mention a a retractable open air roof. One glance at these lavish interiors and it's clear as day that Tommy marches to the beat of his own drum, if you'll excuse the pun. Whether it's the Buddhist inspired iconography, the colorful wallpaper, the mirrored ceilings, a koi pond, walnut flooring, or glitzy chandeliers, there's always something new to look at in every corner of this place. Over on the main floor, there are two gigantic reception rooms, one of which features an elaborate grand piano beside a decadent marble fireplace. A little a little bit further down that same floor is the master suite, which boasts a walk-in closet, a spa-style bathroom, and direct access to the backyard swimming pool and spa combo that overlook the tremendous views of the city. Not to mention an extremely dark color tone that's very much Tommy. Of course, the kitchen is also as gourmet as it comes with a center island that can double as a breakfast bar, marble countertops, and an array of integrated top-of-the-line appliances. There's even a second, smaller kitchen in the basement that fuses a gothic-like medieval decor with modern-day appliances. Meanwhile, the entertaining space out back offers the perfect setup for guests, including a built-in barbecue, a colossal swimming pool, and a lavish outdoor seating area. And for any car enthusiasts out there, while well, Tommy's home comes with a sizable garage big enough to fit as many as 13 whips. 
As I mentioned off the top, around the same time that Tommy began to get serious about Britney was when he decided to move on from this place and find something new. My best guess is that this house reminds him of his bachelorhood, and well now that he's a married man, he wants to start making new memories in a family home. After originally putting this mansion on the market for just under $6 million, Tommy has slashed the price over the years, and it's currently listed for about $4.5 million. So if any of you are looking to live like a verified rock star, well, you know where you can do it. All right, now let's move on to Tommy and Brittany's new place. After house hunting for a couple of years and even going so far as to contemplate becoming neighbors with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Tommy and Brittany finally found the home of their dreams in Brentwood, California. And honestly, it's probably not just their dreams, it might be all of our dreams. I mean, just take a look at this place. In April of 2021, the couple closed on this home, reportedly paying $4 million, which while it might sound like a lot, it might have actually been something of a steal considering how ritzy this home is. To begin with, let's make it clear, Tommy is swapping space for style. His former Calabasas home was a massive 10,000 square feet of space, but this home is less than half of that, coming in at 4,300 square feet. That being said, this four bedroom, three and a half bath home features some inspired zen living spaces that are worth the price of admission alone. I mean, even the exterior of this home is a work of art with its wraparound glass and some inspired artisan woodwork. So before we check out the interior, let's quickly take a look at the outside because honestly, the outdoor spaces rival every bit of the interior ones. For instance, stone pathways wind through a dense garden of ferns, herbs, and bamboo, all of which leads to a waterfall-fed pool and a one-of-a-kind Japanese tea house. There's also a nearby koi pond with a small wooden dock. Other features include a barbecue island and a dining deck to make entertaining as extravagant as possible. Now moving on to the inside of this half acre home, the expansive kitchen and dining area sports Japanese tansu cabinetry and it's a Brazilian mahogany countertop. As for that dining room, I don't know about you guys, but I'd probably be too distracted checking out the floors, table and surrounding glass enclosure to spend much time eating. And yet another wing of the home, there's also a secret spiral staircase that connects a bedroom slash office space to a nearby yoga studio. Speaking of the bedrooms, the master bedroom is a certified retreat and offers up double height ceilings, heated floors, a window wall with built-in cabinets, a dual bath, and custom design closets. Two additional bedrooms can also be found in a separate wing on the other side of the residence. So what do you guys think? Was this move an upgrade for Tommy or Brittany? Or a downgrade? Leave your thoughts down below over the next minute or two, but before we get out of here, I've got one more story to tell. You see, while Tommy and Brittany were apparently waiting to move into their zen-inspired paradise, they had to spend a few weeks living in a rental. No big deal, right? Most of us have had to live in a temporary home at one point or another, but how many of us have had to contend with ghosts while doing so? As it turns out, Tommy and Brittany are convinced that the house they moved into was haunted after after a trash can in their kitchen would continually open on its own. Brittany would uncover that the guy who had previously lived in this place was named Tom. I mean, what are the odds? And he died of a heart attack prior to Brittany and Tommy moving in. So while the garbage can lid wouldn't always move when it was asked to, as soon as Brittany shouted out the ghost's name, the lid immediately moved, freaking both her and Tommy out. While I'm sure they're both far happier now living in their assuredly more serene and ghost-free Japanese garden of a home. Are you guys buying this real life haunting or have Tommy and Brittany played us? Anyways, that about wraps up our Tommy Lee and Brittany Furlon house tour. After checking out this rock star's homes, what did you guys think? Which was your favorite? Let us know your thoughts down below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.